Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestle Simulator, where today we're going to be checking out the brand new update that just dropped. Now, as you can see by the update log, World 6 is still showing up, but it's not quite new. That was in last week's update. Today, we have a brand new teleport game pass and the new boss index that will show you every single boss in the game and if you've beat it or not. Now, going over to the store, we can try to find, where is it? Oh, there it is, the teleport game pass. 49 Robux, that's not that bad of a deal. To be honest, going to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, and before we actually use it i want to see how long does it take for me to run from gym one all the way to gym six because this is something i'd wanted for quite some time as you can see with the slowest trail in the game wait what 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 why is it why is it nighttime okay i mean it's pretty sick but uh doesn't have much to do with our speed with the slowest trail in the game this takes like 10 15 20 seconds to go from gym one all the way to gym six and so very cool that they did add the teleport game pass would be really cool if they made it for free but this is all of the place you can go to the greek world and then all six of the gyms and so let's use it for the first time head back to the oh um yeah that's probably not supposed to happen <laughs> okay there we go now we're in business now obviously the teleport game pass is not what people care about what people actually care about is the brand new boss index that now shows all 36 of the bosses in armor simulator it also shows you the amount of times you've defeated the boss as well as how many wins you've been able to collect from defeating the bosses and today we're going to be filling up our index defeating every single boss in the game starting off with this bully uh <laughs> let's just say things are a little unbalanced at the beginning my 620 qi strength versus his 100 but as you can see it shows up in world one we have one win and four wins that we've been able to get from it now unfortunately at the moment there aren't any rewards that you get from filling up your index or defeating certain worlds they did say though the developers that next week based off the information they get from this week based off of how many bosses people are destroying they'll go ahead and start handing out rewards to people who are able to defeat a certain number of bosses within arm muscle simulator so even if you guys like myself and you have a ton of strength then it's probably worth it for you to actually go back to some of the earlier worlds defeat the bosses complete your index and that way for next week when that day comes out you'll be good to go but that was like 30 seconds we just destroyed the spawn world we didn't have to worry about that at all but a world that i do have to worry about is the greek world because it leaves in a week and i still haven't even managed to complete the final boss as you can see the zeus boss 55.8 qi and we have a problem. If you guys watched my last video where I opened 100,000 eggs, I managed to get a 10 million world eater pet, a ghost Zeus or a ghost Goliath world eater. I threw it away. I, I, I deleted it. I don't know how. So before we actually grind up the strength that we need in order to defeat the final two bosses in the Greek world, I'm going to do my absolute best to try to get another world eater. Because although I have a really powerful setup at the moment with a 5.5 million Zeus pet, having a 10 million would make things twice as fast. So we're going to go and pick up three of the void world eaters that I put in the machine last night. And we're going to put them into the Goliath machine because this will make them a 5 million multi multiplier which right now they're at 4 million so after 15 minutes we get an extra 20 percent boost from void to goliath but while we wait for those guys to actually get up to the 5 million boost we can go ahead and start getting some strength which we desperately need and i think if i recall the knuckle strength yeah it's definitely the fastest way to get strength in the greek world i didn't really ever grind it when it came out because i didn't really see any reason for me to grind it but because our strength pets are so p we're able to easily breeze past some of the very easy beginner bosses in this world. As you can see, Hercules, he's out of here. He gave me like four wins or something with Dusa. We're just, oh my gosh, we're just on the line. We have like 100 trillion strength more, which is barely enough to inch out a win. And then Kratos, can we, can we beat this guy? Yeah, okay, never mind. We absolutely destroy him. He's knuckle strength. That's the one thing we've been grinding in this world. But Poseidon, we have like 10% more strength. Can we squeeze out? Dude, oh, it's going, it's going up just, just slow enough. Can we do it? Wait, what? What was that? Why did it go down so fast? Okay, I think I'm going to chalk this one up as an L. We're just going to get a little bit more strength, come back and destroy this guy. Uh, and we sure as heck at the moment can't defeat Zeus. So there's no point even trying to beat him. So we're going to punch this bag eh, a few hundred, maybe a few thousand times to get enough knuckle strength to beat these dudes. And just a few punches later, we managed to double our strength. That's not what I really plan on doing. But in 15 minutes, we got so much strength, which is awesome. And I think we should also be able to pick up uh sweet yeah our world eaters are ready to go give me three goliath world eaters and because i'm just itching to get my 10 million pet back i'm just so sad i lost it i'm gonna go ahead and try 
to mutate up a world eater to ghost it, it, it's gonna take a while if i'm not mistaken i have an absolute ton of health kits so let's just go chuck in a random world eater here see what we can get and it, it's not ghost uh, of course it's not but let's see we have oh my gosh 302 health kits so we can try to get a ghost world eater 300 times all right we got our four goliaths ready to mutate so let's see what we can do a little update try not to get disheartened but we are about 50 D mutates in and still no ghost. If you guys don't know, there's a 1% chance to get the ghost mutate, which doubles the strength of any pet that you have. So it's really valuable and it's worth grinding out. So we're going to keep on grinding. Hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer to get our world eater because I want to go ahead and destroy the rest of these bosses. A little update again. Uh, we are now 100 mutate in no ghost pet as you can see i'm flying through these mutates i'm trying to go as fast as i can we're just getting a bunch of glowing just getting a bunch of rainbows which are good and they give anywhere from 20 it's i believe 35 percent of a brink boost but we're not looking for that we're looking for the magical 100 boost so we're gonna go a little bit longer and see if we can't get lucky we have reached absolute rock bottom this right here is my 200th mutate of the goliath world eater and let's see glowing no we didn't get a single one you're kidding me that is so sad 200 mutates if you guys think i have good luck this is proof i feel like i just don't have great luck with mutates but the goliath rainbow is a 6.75 million multiplier pet so it is better than our 5.5 million ghosts but we're not worried about that because we should be able to hopefully knock out the zeus the poseidon dude easy 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 work he's light work yeah he had absolutely nothing on us get out of here bozo the zeus though I'm a little worried. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. 55 versus 48 quintillion. Can we do it? Oh, no, there's no way. We're, we're losing so fast. Yeah, we're gonna take the L, punch the bag a few more times, and come back and give him a taste of his own medicine. We gave ourselves an extra 10 quintillion strength. This has gotta be it. This literally has to be it. We're, we're blowing him out of the water. Oh, we're barely, we're barely going up. We're barely inching. Oh, yeah, this is easy. This is easy. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Let's go. Greek world finally done and dusted. Knocked out of the park. Feels good to now have two of the worlds defeated. 10 out of 36 bosses. So we're going to go and teleport back to the space gym. And uh, I'm going to be honest, guys. We can just breeze through the rest of them. It is really funny, though. Looking back, this world, when I first unlocked World 2, I was literally shaking in my boots. I was literally getting my timbers shivered because of how much strength I needed. I was like, dude. I need 400 million strength to beat the slicer assassin. There's no way. And now we have, uh, yeah, I don't even know how many more times strength than these guys, but it's an absolute joke. We can breeze through them. And one thing I do want to see get updated soon is hopefully the volcanic egg, because this right here is by far the best way for beginners to get a huge leap ahead in the game, make a ton of progress really quick without spending any Robux. And I know a lot of you guys don't like dropping bow bucks on games. So hopefully we get an event egg update very soon. But that was quick. That was literally five bosses done in what felt like five seconds. And we're going to go ahead and knock out the Kraken boss. If you guys don't know what this boss is, it's weird Friday night funkin' guitar hero-esque. But fortunately, I have a little bit of computer program background, so made myself a macro, knocks it out in about two minutes flat. So I'll catch you when we've demolished the Kraken. Very nice. I, I will say again, this boss is so funny. I think the only way people beat it is just by AFKing it with macros, including myself. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Wait, you actually get wins for defeating the boss? I didn't know that. That's, that's kind of cool. But with the Kraken boss out of the way, wait, bro, why, why is that guy on the roof? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting totally distracted here. Let's go ahead and breeze through the world three bosses because these guys should be light work. GG's World 3. Let's go and do the same thing in World 4 because I actually have some work to do in World 6 and I don't want to be waiting around too much. Yo, Bunker has nothing on me. I'm telling you guys, I'm absolutely ripped. I'm the I'm the swollest arm wrestle simulator player there is. Okay, maybe not, but we have defeated 26 of 36 bosses. Let's do it all over again. Demolish these remaining World 5 bosses. So we can go grind out the toughest and final bosses in World 6. Oh, here we go. I've, I've honestly been kind of dreading this because I've only so far beaten, I think, two of these bosses. Uh, but the, or oh my, yeah, this is one of them that I haven't beat. 
The Orinthian just destroyed me. He has 10 times, I believe, the knuckle strength that I have, which is just, it's just so sad. Even with our best trails, best arms, let's give it one more. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing changed. So we're gonna have to grind out a ton of knuckle strength. Luckily, there are some punching bags in this world that we can see uh, how much strength we actually get from them. So we're actually climbing strength really fast, which is good to see. So hopefully getting, was that 250 QI strength won't be too tough. But a boss I know I can beat for sure is the cybernetic. We have like seven times the strength he does. And I am kind of sad because I've already beat this boss. Like, I, I want to say two to 300,000 times in order to get the, enough wins to open 100,000 eggs. But because they're just now putting in the boss index, I have no clue how many times I've actually beat him, how many wins I've actually farmed off of him. So it's, it's good now to know that we... Oh, we just got smacked by the Demon Slayer. Bicep power knuckle strength is something we have to grind. Uh, <laughs> Space Cowboy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, partner. But this town ain't big enough for the two of us. So he's out. We've defeated... 34 of the 36 bosses in armor to simulator just two to go but we do have to grind up that strength to beat those final fellas so for one last time let's go punch this bag i want to say about 30 minutes later we're giving it another shot oh we're we're dead even we're dead even oh my god i gotta click bro i gotta click so fast 12 clicks per second easy easy peasy he honestly was scaring me he was scaring me about 30 minutes ago but he doesn't shiver my timbers anymore let's see Oh, that feels so good. One more boss left in Arm Wrestle Simulator. And let's see which one is it. Oh, not <laughs> Space Cowboy. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I've already destroyed you. I don't mean to do it again, but we have to. Thanks, buddy. It's the Demon Slayer. We need, yeah. Wow, an extra 740 quintillion bicep power, which is kind of unfortunate because bicep strength in this arena really isn't that good. And we aren't able to get the big dumbbells or the big barbells that you'd normally get. Even with the biggest dumbbell, 1.9 QA strength, just not a lot. So we're definitely gonna have to spend our sweet time grinding away our bicep power, but I promise you we'll get enough to beat the Demon Slayer. We went from around 0.2 QI bicep power to 20 QI bicep power. Oh, again, Space Cowboy. I didn't even realize that was the wrong guy. I'm so sorry, Space Cowboy. I keep destroying him. 1.9 SX bicep versus the Demon Slayer. Easy. Too easy. That marks every single boss in our missile simulator. Defeated 36 out of 36. And at the bottom, it does say more coming soon. So hopefully, we'll have more bosses added to this index either in existing worlds or hopefully in a brand new world soon, as well as some rewards. Because all this was done in the hopes that whenever the rewards come out, I can be the first to get them and also be the first to showcase them to you guys on this channel. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next Armor Simulator video. Deuces!